calculus, differentiation and integration. Two problems here, both quite complicated, but both relying on just the application of a simple rule. We have to do a little bit of algebraic sorting out to start with. So let's get let's get looking at these. First of all, the differentiation one. Now, as I look at this differentiation problem here, um, what should occur to us is that it is simply not written particularly nicely. What I have to do is I have to, the only thing I can differentiate when I'm looking at stuff like this is x to the power. And so I need to look along this line and see what powers of x I've got. This first one, no problem. If I had to call this y, I can see that 2x cubed starts me off. And when I go to my dy dx, I can do that without any difficulty at all. This next one, a square root, well, Looking at that, that is an x to the power of a half. I can do that, OK. Um, this next two, what I have to do with this one is this bit has to be split. Um, both got the same denominator. They're both divided by x squared. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide them both by x squared separately. And if I do that, then x squared divided by x squared is 1 and 2x divided by x squared, cancel one of the powers, is 2 over x. And so, what I have is I have plus 1, and this, which is a 2, and the power of x I can see there, negative 1. So I've looked through my powers of x, and I've got them into something that I can then differentiate. And now job's largely done. Let me differentiate. So multiply by 3 and drop the power. Multiply by a half and drop the power. Differentiate 1 and that disappears. Multiply by negative 1 and subtract 1 from the power. And that's my answer. There we go. It's done. I could, if I wish, go on and write it like this. Now, looking at this, I've got a half, 1 over 2. The power of x is a half, which is a square root, and the negative tells me it's on the bottom of the fraction. Here, I've got a, the number is 2, but the power of x is squared with the negative to tell me it's on the bottom of the fraction. So the half stays where it is, the 2 stays where it is, and the power, square root and bottom of the fraction, and squared and bottom of the fraction. So that is, if you like, simply a slightly different way to write the same thing. There we go. That's our differentiation. Let's have a quick look at the integration now. Clear those things off. My integration, my, I have the same problem. I have powers of x that are not particularly nicely written to start with. x over 2, I can deal with that. But 1 over x squared, well, that is a power of 2, but it's got a negative to tell me it's on the bottom of the fraction. Once written like that, I can go ahead and I can integrate. So squared brackets... Up the power and divide by 2 to join the 2 that's already there and add 1 to the power for this and divide by negative 1 and we're going to do that between 1 and 4 in other words we have x squared over 4 minus and the power here tells me x to the power 1, but it's on the bottom, negative power on the bottom of the fraction. There we go. So, working this out, what I have, I substitute 4 in, and I substitute 1 in, I subtract, and I will have my answers. Uh, 
and that should give me, I think, in the end, four plus one is five, minus a quarter, minus a quarter, that should give me four and a half. And that is my integration done.